So, so I have this image right here, and then I also and make the cut. You, you guys probably saw the newsletter if you guys did get it, and uh, this right here, I traced it and make the cut, and I was able to do uh, what I'm going to show you, show you how to do real quick uh, in the book. Cut. Yeah, so I just basically found a bee coloring coloring page off the internet, and I'm going to go ahead and hit open, and it's going to try to trace, and it did, and then I'm just going to hit import because I'm, I'm done. That trace is good. I'm finished. And I can make it bigger here. And then all, all you have to do in Make the Cut is you go, you, you know, I right click, you can go to Shape Magic. If you don't know the keyboard shortcut, you go to Advanced, and then you go to Thin Paths. And it's basically going to give us a centerline trace. Now, some you know, some images and fonts work better than others. This, this just so happened to work okay. Uh, I have text over here, and, you know, I, I just have in there Scrappy Do Live, and it works really well with symmetrical types of letters. So, you know, if you can imagine a center line, you know, just going in between that S, you know, compared to another font, you know, that's kind of crazy looking. We'll see if I can find one real quick that would not work as well. You know, so you know, like this, this this would not work work well. So it so it has to be you know symmetrical. So you do the same exact thing. I'm going to zoom out here. Scrappy do live. You can highlight that. You can go to the same thing. Shape magic advanced. Then you can go to thin paths. And as you can see, this is this is where you can stick a pen in there and you can have that pen draw that instead of drawing the outline. So if I were to do this one, uh, you know, we can see what it does, but it's not going to look pretty. And we'll go to thin pass. You know, I mean, it's, it sort of, sort of looks okay, but still, I mean, you have to think, you know, blocky type of letters, possibly cursive handwriting type, something that's symmetrical. Something that doesn't have a lot of a lot of pizzazz or flair, you know. And something else that you can do that I, I showed you guys in the newsletter is that you can even add rhinestones to this, you know. So you can you can preview the rhinestones on the mat, and you know you can just get unique effects. So that's just another way to do it.